Uh, but hey there, kids. It's me, Mr. Creepypasta. And a little bit of bad news. Uh, turns out my mom deleted my homework folder, which contained all six months of all VTuber footage. So uh, it looks like I, I wouldn't be able to continue uh, VTuber. This will, be, this will end up being the last VTuber video, very unfortunately. But uh, thankfully, it's a killer story from uh, Vincent Vinicava. Fart in my mouth, that exe. I was surfing the web one night when my email notification sounded. You've got mail, you butt sniffer, it said. This was something I found to be quite odd, not because my computer called me a butt sniffer. I'm quite proud of that fact. As a matter of fact, I've been sniffing butts regularly since I graduated college, and I've programmed my computer to make mention of that at every opportunity. No, the reason why I found my email notification to be odd was because I don't even have an email account. The name that was attached to my mysterious message was Scary Monster of Blood at Comcast.net. I know I'm not supposed to open emails from people that I don't know because they could contain a virus like COVID or chickenpox, both of which have done far less damage to the world than the Matt Damon movie, Stuck on You, in my opinion. But I couldn't help it. It was the title of the email that intrigued me. It said, No title. When I opened it, the only text was a single link. Fartinmymouth.exe. Of course, I clicked it. To my horror, my computer turned into a giant asshole. I opened my mouth to scream in terror, but as soon as my lips parted, it released an abundance of poo gas into my mouth. I choked and gagged and clawed at my throat for air, but there was nothing I could do. The poo gas had infected me. It was permeating every fiber of my being. Soon it began to work its way into my mind, and as it was then that I heard its voice sweet and angelic like Gabriel blowing a chocolate trumpet. Pass the email on, said the Pugaz, so that I may fart in the mouth of every man, woman, and child on the planet. Stupid fart, I gasped between chokes. How could I send this email? I don't have an account. I only communicate with family and friends through snail mail, and I can't very well fart in an envelope. I could get a paper cut in my bottom. I don't know. Think of something, idiot. And so, I hatched a plan that was probably the most brilliant thing anyone has ever thought up while choking on an electric fart. Under the cover of night, I stole a truckload of those waxy starter logs from the Duraflame factory and I built the world's largest bonfire in the middle of a forest. The inferno raged like a middle-aged suburban Karen after being told by a black security guard to... The inferno raged like a middle-aged suburban Karen after being told by a black security guard to wear a mask at a Walmart. You see, I was making the world's biggest smoke signal, one the whole world would see. And when the time was right, probably after my third or fourth quesalupa, I would unleash the poo gas from my butt and infect everyone on the planet. It was just one problem, though. I hadn't taken into account that the inferior quality of Taco Bell's meat would give me a terrible case of the runs, and when I aimed my naked rear towards the fire, I released an oily stream of diarrhea that caught the fire before exiting my anus, and as you can guess, the flames worked their way up into my intestines and set me ablaze. The pain was excruciating. It was as if my insides were on fire. Well, actually, 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 they were. So it wasn't like it wasn't like they were on fire at all. However, the accident had a positive effect as well. To my great satisfaction, it wasn't just my intestines that caught fire. The mysterious fart that had infected me caught fire too. It had been waiting at the mouth of my butt to be released, but had been converted into my Hershey squirts and set on fire. It screamed in its heavenly voice, and I knew, I knew that it was dying a terrible death inside my butt. Taco Bell had saved the world. It would have been a happy ending had I not died from first-degree burns of the ass. Sweet dreams, kids. Hey there kids, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta, and I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for watching tonight's video, or listening to tonight's episode of the podcast. It really helps me out whenever you guys do things like listen, or watch. And it really helps if you guys also subscribe to the podcast, or subscribe to the YouTube channel, or do things like clicking the bell, or clicking the like button. 
Also, it's becoming allergy season. <laughs> and it's affecting me, in case you couldn't tell. Well, I have one thing that actually does help me out, and that's the help from my wife's tea. My wife makes tea and sells it online at etsy.com slash shop slash ivory monocle tea. If you guys want to test some for yourself, then head over to the shop, get yourself some of the Dark and Stormy Night, which is my personal favorite, and ask for the Dabbing Mr. Creepypasta sticker. And as always, I want to give a very special thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon. You guys are the ones who help me keep the lights on the house, as well as allow me to do things like commission brand new stories. In case you guys haven't noticed, we hit that tier. So a very special thank you to Jordan Alexander Sanchez, Stricken, Chase Burnett, Deanna Krause, G Weevil 3, Tristan Pelton, 1-800-Nightmare, Acid System, Aaron Stormcrow, Azarine Fox, Bobby Carmen, Chris Lovin, Cryptic Nightmares, The Doctor, Daniel Polson, Dr. Stein and Mr. Happy, Euro Gore, Freddy Krueger, Fried Chicken 12, Hades Nephew, Infertile One, James Bruce, James Lowe, Jason VR Wilson, Jimbo the Hutt, Jordan Nels, Jordan Johnson, Caleb Dougal, Kiri the Sloth, Legit Quadfeed, Liam Newman, Lisa Cottrell, Marco Takes Dabs 420, Michael Scarborough, Nico Kyle, Nina Smith, Prozac and Pancake Appreciation Society, Rafael Rodriguez, Robert White, S Man, Sky Harbor, Snails Burnett, Talon Carlick, The Ginger Bros, Trace Miles, Suji Campbell, Tynany, Unknown Nobody, Andre Garcia, Brianna Wright, Brian Ace, Caspian, Hogunkji, and someone you love. And also a very special thank you to everybody who's down there in the description down below. All you guys who are listed as Patreons and everybody who's even supporting for just $1, I really love and appreciate you guys. And if you want to join them, you can always head over to patreon.com slash mrcreepypasta. Even a dollar a month, honestly, keeps the show going. So thank you guys so much. And to everyone out there, sweet dreams.